What's up everyone, in this video we're going to take a look at some script that's been floating around the internet for a while that can expand your content on click and unexpand it on another click. So basically a show more, show less button for your Squarespace website. Now I'm not taking any credit for this, after doing a bit of digging it seems to have been written by someone called Jim Lee, so big shout out to him for sharing this. I'm just going to clear up any confusion about how to set it up and how it works. Alright, the first thing we need to do is get the script that makes all this work. I'll leave a link to it down in the description. So we'll take a copy and paste it into the site-wide code injection into the header. So basically what the script is saying is that the trigger is a link with the text of show more and a URL of hashtag expand plus the number of divs or rows that we want to hide, which we'll cover in a minute. And the number of rows that we specify will be wrapped in a div called extra gallery and it'll be hidden until the link's clicked. Okay, so we'll save this and go to where we want to add the expandable content. In my case, I want everything between this bit of text and this button to be hidden until we click the trigger. Okay, next we'll tell the script what we want to hide. So we'll open the page editor. And if we take a look at how this section's built, you can see we've got a text block. Three images side by side, which we're going to count as one because they're all on the same row. Then a space block and a button. So we've got four rows in total that we want to include in the expanding section. If we wanted to hide the rest of the stuff in this section, we'd include this space block and the image, which would give us a total of six. But as we're stopping at the button, we're going to stick with four. So we'll put our trigger down above this text block. I'm going to use a text link, but this works with a button too. So our link text needs to match the script, which is show more. And our click through URL will be hashtag expand hyphen plus the number of rows we want to hide, which is four. And then we'll apply and save the page. And if we come over to our text link and give it a click, it should be working fine. You'll see it also changes the text to show less, which is a nice little touch. And that's it for this video. So as always, thank you ever so much for watching. I hope you found it useful. If you did, leave us a thumbs up below. If you're not already, consider subscribing to see more. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one. See ya.